Hey everyone, countries around the world take vastly different approaches to how they deal with members of society who have broken the law. Some believe that building huge, uncomfortable prisons will act as a deterrent to potential offenders while containing those who have already been convicted, while other countries do the opposite and build facilities that are far more comfortable and have a much larger focus on rehabilitation rather than punishment. So get ready to be surprised at the privileges some inmates are afforded as we take a tour around the 15 most luxurious luxurious prisons on Earth. Number 15. Halden Prison, Norway Located in the small town of Halden in Norway, Halden Prison is a maximum security facility. But you wouldn't know it. It opened in April of 2010 with a capacity of up to 252 inmates, the majority of whom have been convicted of the most serious crimes, such as murderers and terrorists. Furthermore, such is the novel approach in this prison, around 40% of the inmates are international criminals who are being kept there on behalf of other governments. Surprisingly, there's no barbed wire, electric fences, guard towers, or snipers, and instead there's a huge steel and concrete wall surrounding the facility, and the use of toughened safety glass throughout. There are, as you'd expect, security cameras, but these are only used in the wider grounds, and there aren't any in the cells, the common rooms, the classrooms, or the workshops. Split into three cell blocks, each prisoner has their own 110 square foot or 10 square meter cell that has a TV, a desk, a mini fridge, a toilet, and a shower. Regular visitations are allowed, and these privileges are only ever removed as a result of bad behavior. This approach is very much focused on rehabilitation, and rather than feeling like punishment, Halden Prison is more like a small community that encourages prisoners to gain employment and learn skills for the outside world. It's not been without its criticism, though, but it's undoubtedly one of the most luxurious maximum security prisons on Earth, and one that has remarkably good behavior records and low reoffending rates for those that are released back into society. Number 14. Suomenlinna Prison, Finland The Suomenlinna district of Helsinki in Finland is made up of a series of eight islands, five of which are connected by bridges and have long been an important stronghold after the construction of a fortress in 1748 to protect against Russian expansion. Nowadays, it's an important historic site that, because of its age, has fallen into a state of disrepair, and this gave the country's prison authority an unusual idea. They created an open prison on the southern tip of one of the islands, with the express intent that the inmates who were held there would spend their time there to help repair and restore the centuries-old fortress. With a population of between 100 and 150 prisoners, most of those who are nearing the end of their sentences and have been transferred from elsewhere, they're kept in cell blocks that look more like houses and work during the week on a variety of jobs across the islands. Seen very much as a reward for good behavior during their time at other prisons, Suomenlina Prison aims to teach inmates skills that will be useful to them when they're released, and treats them almost with the same level of trust and respect as outside a prison. Of course, they're still monitored by guards and are supervised while they're working, and if they're caught breaking the rules, they risk being sent back to a more traditional facility. Number 13. San Pedro Prison, Bolivia the largest prison in the city of La Paz, Bolivia, is San Pedro Prison, and this is a correctional facility unlike any other. Built to accommodate 600 inmates, but now holding as many as 3,000, this place has developed a community of its own, and while it can be a terrible experience for many, it can be the life of luxury for some. The role of the guards here is to simply patrol the border and ensure no inmates escape. This means families can visit almost whenever they want, and it's even possible for tourists to go inside too. Upon first entering San Pedro, prisoners can purchase a cell from the prison mayor or a freelance real estate agent, and depending on how much they're willing to pay, they'll begin living in one of the eight districts, some of which function like gated communities with their own market stalls, entertainment areas, and restaurants, all of which are run by inmates. The most luxurious district, La Posta, amazingly offers cells with private bathrooms, kitchens, cable TV, and even hot tubs. And one inmate even reportedly paid for an extension to his so he had views of the city. Many inmates also have their families living with them who are able to enter and leave the prison whenever they want, and there's even a prison hotel and two nurseries. These luxuries are only available to the select few who can afford it, however, with the majority of inmates living five to a cell and having to work to earn their keep. With murders being a common occurrence in the lower districts, most who spend time there will have a very different experience. Number 12. Chincheng Prison, China 
The Chinese prison system has a reputation for being particularly harsh and unforgiving towards its inmates, which in theory acts as a deterrent to anyone acting in a way that the ruling regime doesn't like. One of the most famous facilities of all is the Qincheng Prison, which is in Qincheng Village around an hour's drive from central Beijing. And it's here that political prisoners as well as high-profile inmates are often sent. First built in 1958 under a veil of secrecy, it's split into three sections, the inmate housing, the work sites, and the residential section for employees. Prisoners are ranked based on the severity of their crimes and their standing in society before they were sent there, and this determines the quality of their experience while there. Of course, most find themselves in extremely tough conditions when they're forced to work in physically demanding jobs every day of the week and share cramped cells. But if you're wealthy or a high-profile person, things can be very different. Chincheng has a number of special cells that are reserved for these individuals. And according to reports, they're the height of luxury compared to elsewhere. With 215 square feet or 20 square meters of space, writing desks, private bathrooms, and washing machines, as well as prisoners being able to wear their own clothes, eat much better food, and read, exercise, play games, and even have visitors. It's not exactly vacation-worthy, but it's close. Number 11. Solentuna Prison, Sweden the majority of prisons are designed with one thing in mind, keeping the inmates inside, and as a result, they're rarely the most eco-friendly of buildings. That's not always the way, though, because in Solentuna Prison in Sweden, it actually won an award for its green credentials in 2019, and the features that were added to make it like this have also made it one of the most luxurious prisons of all, too. The main prison building, called Taleban 4, looks like an ordinary office block from a distance, but it's actually a high-security remand prison in central Stockholm. Wrapped in more than 64,000 square feet of insulating glass with inbuilt alarms, the structure automatically regulates its own temperature. And there's a 12,000 square foot garden on the roof that inmates are able to use, and this is particularly bee-friendly. With various other initiatives too, such as underground tunnels and the courthouse to remove the need for vehicular transport, the prisoners benefit as well, with private rooms that feature comfortable beds and ensuite bathrooms, a fully equipped gym, and plenty of recreational space. With fresher air, comfortable temperatures, and a sense of openness and well-being throughout, it's seen as a blueprint for future prisons in the country. And because of how it uses far less energy than a conventional facility, it's far cheaper to operate as well. Number 10. Justice Center Leoben, Australia First opened in 2004 in the city of Leoben, Austria, the Justice Center has two inscriptions from the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights on the perimeter, and everything about the prison aims to live up to those ideals. It's got a maximum capacity of 205 inmates, and only accepts non-violent offenders with shorter sentences. So rather than being about punishment, its main focus is on equipping them with the skills needed to successfully re-enter society, and hopefully never re-offend again. Regular courses are run on a wide range of subjects, making it almost seem like a community college, and each inmate has their own private cell with a bathroom, a television, and access to a kitchen so they can prepare food for themselves. There's also a large recreational area that features an outdoor gym and a basketball court, along with social spaces, and further outdoor areas that are accessible during the day so inmates don't feel caged. It's definitely on the softer end of the scale for prisons, but it's already been shown to be a success. Prisoners who will one day be released back into communities need to see that there are opportunities to succeed, and the Justice Center Leoben has one of the lowest recidivism rates in the world. Number 9. Onomichi Prison, Japan As populations increase in size, so do the number of people being held in prison. And in Japan, authorities have begun facing a problem that other countries will also have to confront soon a rapidly increasing number of elderly inmates. The over 60s age group are the fastest growing sector in the country's penal system. And this has meant that prison design has had to drastically change to accommodate them. And the result is something far more similar to a senior citizen care home than a correctional facility. Onomichi Prison in the city of Onomichi has handrails along the center of hallways to aid those with difficulty walking. There are adult diapers handed out regularly, and during meals, if an inmate coughs or chokes on their rice, a guard will rush over to gently rub and pat their back to make sure they're okay. The geriatric wing also has no steps, and the prisoners are given walkers if they need, and they only work six hours a day instead of the normal eight, and are given simpler tasks like sorting papers, folding laundry, and doing arts and crafts. 
with elderly prisoners less likely to get parole because of the lack of family or the places for them to go to. Prisons like these are quickly becoming end-of-life care facilities too, so in respect of that, the inmates are treated far better than they would elsewhere in that system. Number 8. Aranjuez Prison, Spain there's a moral difficulty sometimes when someone's convicted of a crime, because if it's decided that they should serve time in prison as a punishment, this can split up families and potentially cause harm to innocent children who will be without a parent for a significant period of time. While some countries choose to treat parents more leniently for the child, others will let them enter social care systems instead. And when the crimes are too serious to consider letting the parents avoid jail, there's very little choice but to lock them up and hope that the children are taken in by other family members. In Spain, though, there's an alternative at Aranjuez Prison, which is a correctional facility specifically designed to offer cells for families. With Disney characters on the walls and a prison playground to go to, the inmates here are murderers and drug traffickers, but not ones who have life sentences, and they're able to stay in this five-star accommodation with their children until they're three years old. It's clearly not the best situation for anyone involved, but it gives the kids a chance to develop bonds with their parents, and also encourages the adults to behave and remind them that there's a reason to work towards their release. Number 7. HMP Adewell, Scotland Situated near to the village of Adewell in West Lothian, Scotland, HMP Adewell is a privately owned facility that holds male inmates from across the Scottish penal system and aims to teach them life skills for when they're released. With 40 hours per week dedicated to productive skill building, there are greater opportunities here than virtually any other prison, so those who do want to turn their lives around have a very good chance of doing so here. This isn't the only reason it's seen as luxurious by inmates, though, with it being the preferred choice by most who are incarcerated in the country. It doesn't have particularly comfortable cells, sumptuous food, or warm weather, but it's become somewhat notorious for its lax security, which means that prisoners are able to access almost any contraband that they could possibly want. There are countless stories of raucous parties taking place at the prison, and while authorities are of course trying to clamp down on this, it remains the place to go for inmates looking for a good time. Number 6. Cebu Prison, Philippines one of the biggest challenges facing prison authorities is how to provide enough entertainment for the inmates while keeping things safe and under control, and various institutions have different approaches towards doing this. There's no doubt, though, that the Cebu prison in the Philippines is the most unusual in this respect. And while the facility itself may not be the most luxurious for day-to-day -day life, the prisoners being kept there certainly have one of the best activities to pass the time. That's because each of the maximum security prison's inmates have to take part in the Cebu's world-famous daily choreographed dance routines, which are not only designed to provide them with exercise, but also to learn teamwork, to follow instruction, and to take them out of their comfort zones. Often, these are filmed and broadcast online, with the prisoners having developed legions of fans since the first was released in 2006. Now they're so well known that the inmates even sign autographs after some performances, and they virtually become celebrities in their own right. Number 5. Pondok Bamboo Prison, Indonesia The experience in prison in Indonesia varies wildly depending on which facility you're sent to, with most of them being notorious for squalid conditions and terrible treatment towards inmates. Some wardens, however, have found ways to profit from their positions by offering luxury accommodation to certain prisoners as long as they can afford it. Pondok Bamboo Prison is a women's penitentiary in Jakarta that's made headlines in 2010 following an investigation by a local TV news network. They had detailed the case of an inmate who had been sentenced to five years there for bribing a prosecutor with $600,000 to drop a case against her. But she needn't have worried because her wealth gained access to luxuries very few have on the outside. She reportedly had access to a huge cell with a flat-screen TV, a king-size bed, a private bathroom, and even an adjoining karaoke suite, all while she was served by maids who kept her room clean and had unlimited visits by beauty therapists for a wide variety of treatments. This was, however, against the principles of the system in Indonesia, and when it was discovered, she was moved to the general population of the prison. But apparently, it's quite commonplace for similar privileges to exist, with reports of luxurious accommodation being available in most of the country's prisons. Number 4. Alexander Makanochi Center, Australia the Alexander Makanochi Center is a prison facility in Canberra, Australia that houses maximum security and minimum security inmates. 
It's said to be the first in the country that was built to human rights principles and is described as being an open campus style facility with no bars on any windows so they give views out across the surrounding landscape and even self-contained cottage accommodation for the best behaved inmates the focus here is on treating every prisoner with respect with the idea that by doing so they won't become institutionalized and when they're released they're far less likely to commit another offense despite the appearance of it being open and friendly though the people in charge of the prison have been clear that it's still a maximum security facility that's continuously being watched by hundreds of cameras around the site and that there's still no way an inmate would be able to reach the perimeter without the guards knowing about it it's been a controversial decision to build a place like this in australia but as with many other prisons that take a more respectful approach the initial signs have been that reoffending rates are much lower than with prisoners who have been kept elsewhere and the behavior of those being kept in the Alexander Makanochi Center is far better as well. Number 3. JVA Fußbüttel Prison, Germany The Fußbüttel Prison in Hamburg, Germany is used to accommodate a wide range of prisoners from the city, with sentences ranging from just a few months to many years. It's been designed to constantly be interesting and stimulating for them so they don't get bored, with the theory being that this encourages better behavior, is good for their well-being, and ultimately means they're more likely to return to society and fit back in, with a much lower chance of reoffending. It's been criticized for being too comfortable, with soft beds, chairs, TVs, and a huge amount of space in each cell. It offers spacious recreational areas, a number of courses that inmates can enroll in, and access to outdoor spaces during daylight hours. One of the most surprising things is that the interior of the prison is completely redecorated at regular intervals every year or so. Rather than being to keep it clean and fresh, this is actually done for the inmates who are going to be there for long sentences, so their environment changes around them and is kept interesting. Number 2. Otago Correctional Facility, New Zealand Found near Milton on the lower South Island of New Zealand, the Otago Correctional Facility was built between 2005 and 2007 and provides accommodation for 335 inmates. Designed for prisoners with short sentences, it aims to help them learn skills that will allow them to get a job in the outside world when they're released and have often been referred to as the Five Star Hotel of Prisons. With two inmates per cell in which they have TVs, radios, and coffee machines, they're able to decorate them however they want and even have a wide range of books they can borrow from the prison library. Surprisingly, the entire facility has underfloor heating to keep them warm in the often freezing climate, and the inmates have access to a fully equipped gym, a spacious outdoor recreational yard, and regular movie nights. What's particularly special about this facility compared to others in New Zealand, though, is the wide range of educational courses that are available. So along with the usual drug and alcohol therapy sessions, there's a drama school and the opportunity to learn engineering skills, cookery, and farm work. When it opened, it represented a new design for New Zealand's correctional system, and it's generally been seen as a complete success, with all future prisons planned to replicate it. Number 1. Bastoy Prison, Norway Originally opened as a prison colony for young boys and located around 46 miles from Oslo in Norway, Bastoy Prison is one of the most unusual correctional facilities on the planet. Rather than keeping inmates locked in cells and behind bars, it's trying to become the first ecological prison in the world. And to do this, it's doing things very differently. It's located on an island that can only be accessed by ferry, and inmates live in small wooden cottages. Around 115 prisoners are held there at any one time, and they're watched over by 70 prison employees, only five of whom stay there overnight. Inmates have to apply to be transferred to Bastoy from other prisons in Norway, and the population is made up of people who have committed a wide range of crimes, from theft to murder. Their day is made up of mainly working on the prison farm, but during their free time, they have access to activities that people in other prisons could only dream of. They can, for example, learn how to ride a horse, go fishing, or make use of the on-site tennis courts, and even compete against one another in cross-country skiing before relaxing in a sauna. It's a tough transition for some prisoners who are so used to having every minute of every day planned out for them, and at Bastoy they found themselves relying on each other for entertainment and to provide resources for themselves. Amazingly though, the approach has been a resounding success, whereby the reoffending rate of prisoners who have spent part of their sentence there has dropped from the European average of 70% to just 16%. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.